Let's talk about expression. Strong, female, abstract expression. New York, 1928. An ambitious young art student has just changed her name from Leonore to Lena to Lee. In a world where women have recently won the right to vote, identity is everything. And this is now hers. But life is uncertain. Wall Street is on the verge of collapse. Economic depression sets in. Soon, the world is at war. As life fragments around them, artists around the world begin to break from tradition. And as the world dreams of a better future, dream worlds begin to appear. Building on art movements that came before, the mind's eye is now what matters, not the matter in front of their eyes. It is psychological, it is intense, it is an escape from reality. New York, 1945. Meet the abstract expressionists. These are the revolutionaries, rejecting the past and embracing the future. Figurative art is dead, replaced by abstract shapes that sweep across huge canvases full of color. This new art is all about feeling. Their work is physical, bold, and energetic. It's controversial, confrontational, nonconformist. Part of a wider culture of creativity and social change that is sweeping across the city. It is about music, politics, culture, and art. The young crowd love it. The art critics, not so much. But it's real, it's alive, and it's gaining pace and popularity. It's a movement, and Lee Krasner is part of it. She's just met this guy, Jackson Pollock. They fall in love, get married, and move out of town. She is inspired by the nature, space, and color. Freedom from the old-fashioned misogynistic art world, where critical appreciation sounds like, it's so good you wouldn't know it was done by a woman. High praise indeed. Support for her husband unwavering, she takes a back seat for his creative endeavors. But then, tragedy strikes. Pollock is in a fatal accident. Lee's life and work are about to shift forever. Painting is not separate from life, she says. It is one. It is like asking, do I want to live? My answer is yes, and I paint. And paint, she does. In the grip of powerful insomnia, light emerges from darkness. Color, deep with emotion, floods back in. She exhibits across America and Europe, quietly announcing herself as an extraordinary avant-garde artist. She is experimental, a risk taker who respects her art and trusts it to lead her. Don't will it, don't force it. Let it come through in its own terms. So be independent, be brave, be outspoken. Find your inner Lee and express yourself. <laughs>